Hi, it's Danella Burnett, and today I'm answering your questions about speaking and events. It's a great question um, and one that we have frequent conversations with our clients. I think an easy answer is if you want to cast a very wide net, you want to have free tickets or low cost tickets. Usually the lower cost something is, the wider the net you can disperse. What is free is not always respected or paid attention to. So you might end up with a lot of people who get a ticket, but you may not have a lot of people who attend your event. So if you're lead generating and you're collecting data, that can be just fine. But if you really want to have the right fit audience at your event, you may do better to sell tickets. You may do better to bundle those tickets with something else. And so I don't think that there's one size that fits all answer, but it does have to do with that end in mind that you have to take into account when you're making decisions about your event. So there is a difference between a free ticket and a dollar ticket. Free, they've had to make very little effort, usually just putting in a minimal amount of contact information in order to claim that free ticket. For a dollar ticket, that person had to at least think enough about the event to go to their wallet, go to their purse, get out their credit card, input that information, or pay for that ticket with PayPal. There is a little bit of a difference in the amount of effort that that particular person gave in order to say they were coming to your event and claim that ticket. So while it doesn't seem like it would be a big difference, we do see a difference in the show up rate between a zero ticket and a $1 ticket. So there's a couple of points in the event process where attrition happens. One is the attrition of the people who bought a ticket to your event and they kind of fall off and that affects your show up rate. The attrition is the people who fall off the people who change their mind, the people who maybe got a better offer. And it's not just a better offer about another event. They may have got a better offer to spend time with family or go on vacation or do something else around their business. The moment that you sell the ticket or they claim the ticket, there's the moment they show up at the event. And then there's another level of attrition for those who fall off during the event. And again, it might be because your event wasn't what they were thinking it would be and they don't need the information that you're sharing. Maybe they have other distractions. Maybe they are uh, double booked. They're doing multiple things. So attrition is where you lose people either from your ticket sales to your show up or from your show up to your stick. And those are the people that stick with your event and stay with your event and stay with your content. Mm -hmm.